Hi. Today we will see how to implement a showcase view in a native Android app. I'm going to use a third-party API for this. I'm going to mention the GitHub profile link of the developer, who has created this amazing API for everyone. Please visit the profile, and show the developer some support. Let's see the project structure. At the app level build.gradle file, integrate this showcase view dependency. In the settings.gradle file, integrate this Maven setting. OK. Here we have the main activity. And in the UI we have the activity underscore main.xml file, which is the layout of the main activity. Let's see the UI. Here we have two buttons, buttons 1 and 2. We will be showing the showcase view on these two buttons. Let's see the Java code now. These are the imports. This is the main activity. These are the data members. The showcase number variable is used to identify which UI elements showcase view is currently getting shown so that we can move on to the next UI element. In the onCreate function, when button number 1 is clicked, we call the open showcase 1 function. This is the open showcase 1 function. Here first, we set the showcase number variable to 1, as this is the first UI element upon which we are going to show the showcase view. Then, we create an object of the showcase manager builder. Then, we set up the builder using various attributes like context, key, description title, description text, button text, cancel button attributes, etc. A very important attribute is the view attribute. Here we have passed the button 1 element. So this showcase view would shown on button number 1. So basically, when the user clicks button 1, this showcase view would be shown on the button 1. Generally, the showcase view is shown as soon as the app loads for the very first time, but, I have purposely put the showcase view on a button click event so that I could explain things in a simple manner. When the user clicks the done or cancel button, or if he clicks the back button of the Android device, then, the app flow comes here at the on activity result function. Here, we check if the result is OK and also check from which UI element the control has come here. So for that, we check the value of the showcase number variable. If the user had pressed the done button or the cancel button, then, we would show this OK toast. If the user had pressed the back button of the Android device, then, we would show this dismiss toast. And when all the showcase views have been shown on all the UI elements, we will show everything is done toast. So as of now, we have come to this function from the showcase view of button number 1. So this OK toast would be shown, and, this open showcase 2 function would be called. This is the open showcase 2 function. Here we set up a showcase builder, and display a showcase view on button number 2. Make a note that, the showcase number variable is set to number 2 now. From there, the app flow would again come to this on the activity result function. And if the user had pressed the done button or the cancel button, then, the everything is done toast would be shown. And the showcase functionality will be completed. Let's run the app. As you can see, when I clicked button number 1, a showcase view was shown around the button. Here we can see the title and description. Along with a done button and a small cancel button on the top. If I click either the done or cancel button, then, the app will go ahead and display the showcase view on the second button. See, now we are seeing the showcase view of button number 2. And after this, we will see everything is done toast and the app flow will stop. Now, I will click button number 1 again, and this time I will press the back button of the Android device. So the app will not display the showcase of the second button, but instead, the app flow will stop, with a dismiss toast. So that's it. That's how you can implement a showcase view in your Android app. Thanks for watching.